about 10 million people will die from antibiotic resistant bacteria. So what I'm trying to do is help clinicians diagnose patients appropriately and actually prescribe antibiotics appropriately. And how am I doing that? Well, I'm using microwaves. So when doctors go and get a sample from the patient, they will actually prescribe um, the, that patient a prophylactic antibiotic. And that antibiotic will be broad spectrum and that will actually kill all the microbials that are in that particular infection. Now, what I'm trying to do is help doctors actually pinpoint a particular antimicrobial, so yeah. making it narrow spectrum. So what they do is the doctors can actually get the sample and they'll microwave that sample. So I've got this microwave that's bespoke here and that's been developed by Cardiff University who are working in collaboration with me at Plymouth University. And this microwave can be utilised to break open bacteria within the sample and this releases DNA. Now that DNA can actually go ahead and be detected within a graphene-based biosensor. Now I'm developing that in collaboration with Plymouth University and that graphene-based biosensor can detect the resistance gene in a particular, um, anti well, in a particular bacterium and a particular antibiotic resistance gene that in effect will allow clinicians to be able to understand what antibiotic resistance genes are present within that sample. So how does it work? Well the overall aim is to develop something like a mobile phone. So this microwave here is rather large and cumbersome and it can't be translated to a mobile. Yeah. But at Cardiff University, in collaboration with me at Plymouth University, we've developed a microwave cavity the size of a two-pence piece that can be integrated into a mobile phone device. The graphene biosensor I was talking about is already this small and that can be integrated into this device. So what that can do is the doctor can tell the patient immediately after putting the sample in whether that patient has got amoxicillin resistance for example and say well actually I'm going to prescribe you this appropriate antibiotic and what that will do is that will reduce the over prescribing of antibiotics, yep. helping reduce the problem of antibiotic resistance.